Hey guys, it's Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today we'll be going over a very specific subject that uh, you know quite a few people has been asking uh, for us to go over, and it's basically going to be uh, explaining the differences between a certified gemstone versus an uncertified gemstone, and we'll be going over exactly what that means. Okay, so just before I go ahead and get into that, I do want to show a few certificates that are currently available in the market. They're not all the same, uh, but for example, GIA again many. If you guys have been following me, you guys know that I went to GIA uh, to get my um, uh, my studies in gemology. So GIA, their certificate opens this way horizontally, okay, um, and versus Chatham Labs, uh, it opens um, also horizontally, all right, uh, and versus the company that certifies Moisenite for us, PGGL, it opens vertically but they're all the same they're all similar uh, in terms of showing the different grades of gemstones i'm gonna get right into it for you all right guys so um again i'm going to show you uh, the difference today between what a certified gemstone versus uncertified gemstone even means like a lot of people are asking what does that even mean right before getting to that funny story is this the person that usually draws in the back board uh, she's actually on vacation so I did my best effort uh, to draw a gemstone for you okay uh, so go ahead and leave a comment if you liked it or not <laughs> because we need that other person back I know that for sure now anyway so let me get it right into it for you so certified versus uncertified what does that mean all that basically means is that if you are to purchase an uncertified stone then you are going to have to trust the person that you're buying it from that you're getting the quality and the grade of a stone that they're telling you okay versus a certified stone a certified stone generally uh, means that it's been sent to a lab uh, there are multiple uh, labs in the world uh, the most well-known is GIA but uh, depending on what you buy if it's a natural gemstone um, man-made gemstone lab created gemstone different labs will primarily focus on different types of gemstones but generally what that basically means is that it's sent to a lab so that you can get clarity on the exact specifications grade quality of your gemstone okay so the three examples that I just showed you is GIA PGGL and uh, Chatham Laboratories okay so those are the grading laboratories that are um, grading the gemstones that we uh, currently carry so that um, you know it could go over the different things okay so what exactly does a certified gemstone uh, provide so basically the, the the main focus primarily what people primarily look for when they're looking for a certified stone are uh, it's called the four C's okay so if you're buying a natural cut naturally cut diamond mine diamond typically they'll they'll grade the cut grade for lab stones, especially moissanite, there isn't a cut grade. And for the reasons that I've went over in the past, it's because moissanite's cut like a moissanite and not like a diamond. Diamonds with cut grades are specific to diamonds. Moissanites, uh, moissanite are cut differently, so therefore it does not have a cut grade. But if you are to buy a natural diamond that has been graded, typically it'll come with a cut grade, a color, Grade, a clarity grade and a carrot grade okay um, so uh, with that said the color grades is it colorless near colorless is it uh, there's a clarity is a VS1 VVS2 uh, uh, internally flawless IF flawless and F uh, or a carrot weight is it a 1 carat 2 carat 3 carat 4 carat 4.2 carat 5.1 carat 1.01 carat I mean it goes to very specific carrot weights okay so that's called the four C's all right um, the other grades that typically people are not very familiar with, uh, which is also very important, uh, are the symmetry. Um, so for example, my drawing here definitely doesn't look that symmetrical, so it might have a very poor <laughs> symmetry grade, right? Uh, but uh, typically what symmetry basically means is that is, is the gemstone symmetrical from one side to the other, from, 
from um, you know from top to down, left to right. Um, you know, so uh, is this is the gem so symmetrical in all 3D? Right. So uh, the symmetry grade, the polish. The polish is referring to the surface areas of the gem. How well polished is it when you're looking to the gemstone? Does it have a lot of luster? Does it shine? Does it? Um, is it very smooth on the surface? If it's poorly polished, sometimes you'll see this weird uh, kind of grainy look. Right. Uh, so the polish grade typically is very important if you want it to have a lot of luster. All right. Fluorescence. A lot of people do not know what this means. Basically all fluorescence means is that some diamonds, naturally uh, mined diamonds, do glow under specific, uh, you know, if uh, under UV lighting. So you put it under a black light close enough, it will glow uh, on some diamonds. Actually, matter of fact, uh, according to GIA, about 35% of all natural diamonds will have some sort of fluorescence when it's exposed to UV lighting. So when they are grading it under a lab, they're grading it under um, a, a black light, right? So if it glows, and sometimes it'll glow kind of a blue color, a white color, or sometimes even a kind of a greenish color, okay? Uh, and based on that intensity and the grading scale will have a fluorescence grade. So, so what does that mean to the person that's buying it, right? Uh, the person that's buying it, generally, the way diamond prices are priced, the higher the fluorescence, the lower the price, so it's not preferred. And the lower the fluorescence, or if, the, if there isn't any fluorescence, usually the higher the price. Now, with that said, well, why does that alter the price? Well, uh, the idea is that if there is fluorescence in your diamond, sometimes it will give it an oily or hazy look, okay? But here's the thing, here's the kicker, only 0.02% according to GIA of naturally cut diamonds or graded fluorescence will give off that look. So you, uh, if if this is not important to you, sometimes you have to weigh out the pros and cons because you, it, you can actually pay thousands of dollars more for a diamond without fluorescence versus a diamond with fluorescence when most people won't even be able to tell the difference. So it's important that you understand this grade because this grade for naturally cut diamonds can cost a whole bunch of money and if you can't see it, then maybe you should question what you want to spend the money on. Maybe you should invest that money in a higher, bigger carat weight or a better clarity grade or a higher color scale rather than just paying on fluorescence alone. All right. Um, so these are usually the main parts of a, a certified stone that people will look at. However, uh, the, the bonus of having a certified stone is that the, it usually comes with either images or diagrams. So depending on which uh, company or lab is creating the certificate for you, uh, generally GIA will have a diagram that will show dimensions and measurements. So typically what it'll show you is the uh, the the tables, uh, the dimensions of the table facets, the dimensions of the crown angles, the dimensions of all these uh, different angles just to, to show you the proportions of that diamond. And based on those proportions and based on GIA standards, then it will either be an excellent cut grade, uh, a poor cut grade, a very good cut grade, and so on and so on, okay? Uh, so those are the dimensions and measurements. And most lab uh, created gemstones that are certified will also come with dimensions and measurements as well. Now, for specific images called inclusions, what, is, what are inclusions? That goes back to the clarity grade. So the clarity grade, all that basically means that in nature, when a, gem, a natural gemstone is mined, it's usually not 100% pure, right? For example, diamonds are typically almost 100% made of carbon. However, through the process of it being formed, there are tiny parts and minerals and those type of things are stuck in the diamond. So the more that it's included, typically means that it will, some, some, some things will show. So there are black inclusions, brown inclusions, white inclusions, and those type of things. So if the diamond is not clear, it, can, it, it will have a lower clarity grade, and therefore GIA does create a diagram where they will create a map and kind of pinpoint where the inclusions are in your diamond. Right, so that's the inclusion diagram, all right? Versus a moissanite, if it's a lab-created gemstone such as a moissanite, it does not have an inclusion diagram, typically because it's lab-created. Most 
Moise and I, based on our experience here, are very eye clean. What does eye clean mean? It means it has a very high clarity grade. So it usually it's very difficult to see if there are any, okay, uh, in terms of in moissanite. So, so for lab created moissanites uh, that are certified by PGGL, what they have here is a really cool image. It's called the brilliancy image because the main reason why, or a lot of, uh, or one of the main reasons why rather, why people buy moissanite is because it has a higher refractive index than diamond. So basically means that it sparkles more. So this image is showing you the actual intensity of the sparkle. And therefore, it's going to show you the light behavior grade, right? And it has an image called the brilliancy image that measures three things. The brilliance, the sparkle, and the intensity of that uh, of that particular stone all right uh, and then also has everything else that I just went over with you besides the cut grade again uh, Moisen does not have a cut grade so it has the color the clarity the polish symmetry and even more uh, it goes to specifics as the crown angles pavilion angles table symmetry and all those different things all right um, so yeah there you go so that's the difference uh, in a nutshell, the difference between a certified stone versus uncertified stone. Do you have to pay more for uncertified stone? Of course, because why? These stones are being sent into a lab where there is machinery, equipment, and people grading these stones so that it can give you a peace of mind as to which stone specifically you're buying. Versus an uncertified stone, um, you can buy a really nice stone based off of just your eye and the trust that you have with your jeweler. Um, so the, the benefit of the uncertified stone is usually at its lower price, okay? As long as you can trust your jeweler and trust your eyes as to what you can see. But if you want a peace of mind, many people will spend a little more for a certified stone so they can know exactly what they're getting. Hey guys, I hope you guys like what you saw there. Um, I'm really trying to do everything I can here uh, as a team here with Fire and Brilliance to go over all the different little subjects uh, for gemology, for jewelry, for gemstones, for loose gemstones, from lab to natural and those type of things. So continue to leave feedback, continue to leave the comments. Uh, leave a comment below if you have anything that you want us to go over. We may actually make a video just for you. We've done it many times for different people in the past and we might do one just for you, okay? So thanks for following the content. We are now at 700 subs. My goal is to get us to at 1,000 subs, hopefully by the end of the year. And uh, thanks for your support. Goodbye.